strong Biennale this year. I'm really, I'm in a great mood because I'm seeing so much terrific art. It's not always like this. It's a tough slog, uh, particularly with all of these people. Behind me, of course, you can see the long lineup. That is a, that's a lineup that forks off. Part of it goes into Canada, the other part goes into the French Pavilion, which is now in the German Pavilion this year, and the Germans are in the French Pavilion, but they're both showing foreigners, uh, which is wonderful. The French are showing Henri Sala, who of course uh, uh, lives uh, in uh, Paris a good part of the time, uh, an Albanian artist, and he's, that's particularly wonderful. He's got Louis Lorty, Canadian pianist extraordinaire, playing uh, Ravel's uh, Concerto for the Left Hand. It's an homage to that piece of music, fantastic. The U.S. Pavilion is very strong with Sarah Z. Um, I was particularly pleased to see that our Sarah Z, the National Gallery of Canada's Sarah Z, is illustrated in the catalog because one of the first works that you see in the U.S. Pavilion is kind of a variation on a theme of the one that we acquired. It wasn't made yet in time for the catalog, so they used ours. That was a proud little moment. The British Pavilion, uh, Jeremy Deller, Turner Prize uh, winner from a few years back. A really wonderful, funny, uplifting, optimistic, uh, bittersweet, beautiful British Pavilion this year. The UK looks great, plus they're giving out free tea. That's part of, of what the artist has, uh, has put in his brief to uh, for the Pavilion this year, and it's very good tea. It's hard to get a good cup of tea here. I'm a tea drinker here in Italy, but if you go to the British Pavilion, not only is it a good cup of tea, it's free. The Germans are in the French Pavilion, and don't they have Ai Weiwei, who was stuck in China, they couldn't get an exit visa, uh, no surprise there, with a beautiful, beautiful installation of a, a, a kind of a thicket of, um, of stools and a number of other artists in the German pavilion, none of whom are German. That's pretty extraordinary. Um, there's graffiti in the Venezuelan pavilion. What's interesting about the Venezuelan pavilion is that these aren't artists making graffiti, these are graffiti artists. And uh, so it's a video and examples of tagging that you see all over the streets of, of Caracas. Uh, and, and that I thought was quite unusual and uh, it, it's, it's quite a beautiful pavilion. Australia, there's a little uh, tidbit of information for you. This is the last time the Australians are going to be in that pavilion. They're tearing it down and building a whole new one. Don't you hate them? It's already twice as big as the Canadian Pavilion. Uh, but what's fun this year is that they've taken the roof off. They're going to tear it down. So why not do something fun? So in the uh, Australian Pavilion, you are outside, but with walls. And uh, nice show. That's about all I can think of for the moment. <laughs>